So the progressive era and positive impact. So progressive is basically advocating for progress, change, or improvement. And so the main goal of progressives is to find solutions for social, economic, or political problems. And so one example of this was Upton Sinclair. And so he wrote this novel, The Jungle, about the meatpacking industry and how it wasn't sanitary or up to skill with a lot of what people thought it should be. And so this led to a lot of public outroar and it caused people to open their eyes and increased the good or the conditions of the meatpacking industry. And he later went on to write about the Pure Food and Drug Act and the Meat Inspection Act. And it actually led to having much better conditions in these industries and having people actually care about what's in their food and how it is being handled. The next example I have is Robert Lafayette. <laughs> um, so basically his story is he was offered a bribe to fix a case to someone's liking. And so he thought that was so wrong. So he spent most of his life trying to find ways to rid government or corrupt political figures and government officials. Um, so basically he was made senator and governor, governor of Wisconsin. And so during these two roles, he tried to pass bills that stopped the government from being so corrupt. And they basically all failed because no one was agreeing with him. And so during the direct primary, he used this to his advantage because it allowed the people to choose who they wanted in office rather than having the government choose who they wanted in office, which was basically letting people or letting the government choose who's going to work best for them and not the people. And so this led to the 17th um, amendment, which was the direct election of U.S. senators. And he tried to get this uh, appealed because he thought this was not right. He thought the people should have a right to choose who they want in office and if this person is going to be for them or for the government. And so basically his whole time he was trying to make sure that the people had a say in what was going on and that the government could not just choose whoever they wanted.